Hi everyone, this is a GMAT number properties practice question, it is a problem solving question, medium difficulty question, I will classify the question somewhere around a 650 level difficulty question. If both 11 square and 3 cube are factors of this number, 8 times 4 cube times 6 square times 13 raised to the power of 11, right. So, 11 square is a factor of this number, 3 cube is a factor of this number, then what is the smallest possible value of A is what this question is. Right. Essentially what they are saying is 11 square will be able to divide this number without leaving any remainder. So will 3 cube be able to divide this number without leaving any remainder. So let us start by the first exercise is let us prime factorize these terms that are there right. The 4 power something, 6 power something let us prime factorize it and write it. So it becomes so much more evident to know whether this number contains 11 square, this number contains a 3 cube. So, to get to that stage, let us prime factorize this. So, step 1, we are going to prime factorize all the numbers that we are known other than a. So, it is going to be a times 4 cube can be written as 2 square raised to the power of 3 and 6 square can be written as 2 times 3 the whole square, 13 is a prime number. So, let us leave it as it is. So, this will essentially make this number to be, this is step 1, a into 2 raised to the power of 6 times, we will write it as a 2 square times 3 square times 13 raised to the power of 11. Club these 2 squares, 2 square and 2 power 6 together. So, we will get a times 2 raised to the power of 8 times 3 square times 13 raised to the power of 11. So, this is the number that is given to us. This is divisible by 11 square. 11 square is a factor of this number. If this entire number is divisible by 11 square, then the numerator, this number should contain 11 square in it. These three prime factors are not 11, which means that A needs to contain the 11 square if this number is to be divisible by 11 square. So, we will say A contains 11 square. So, this is as far as 11 square goes. We also know that this number A times 2 raised to the power of 8 times 3 square times 13 power 11 is divisible by a 3 cube, which means that this number necessarily will have to have a 3 cube in it or more powers of 3 than 3 power 3. But what do we see here? It has only a 3 square, which means that unless A contains one more 3, this number is not going to be divisible by a 3 cube. Because if A contains a 3 in it, then 3 into 3 square will become a 3 cube. 3 cube then will be divisible by the 3 cube in the denominator. So, A needs to contain a 3 for this number to be divisible by 3 cube also, right. So, A contains 11 square, so that it is divisible by 11 square or has 11 square as a factor. A needs to contain a 3, so that this 3 in 3, 3 times 3 square will make it a 3 cube. So, the 3 cube can also be a factor of this number. So, what all does A contain? A contains 11 square, A has 11 square in it and also needs to have a 3 in it. So, least value that A can be is the product of these two, 11 square times 3. 11 square is a 121, 121 times 3 is equal to 363. Take a look at the answer options, the answer options 363 is choice C. So, least value that A can take is 363, choice C is the correct answer.